Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Thank you so much for watching this video um, Basically I would like to say apologize because uh, the late uh, materials given to you guys um, But in this opportunity I would like to share uh, materials concerning on the notative sense reference and the axis Alright, let's get started. Uh, the first thing is the notative. The notative as what we have known is the real meaning of word, the general meaning of word, and uh, you can find it from the dictionary. It's very simple. Uh, for example, over here is the computer. Okay, you can see the computer definition is an electronic device which is capable of receiving information and blah blah blah. Okay, so you can find it from the dictionary. Okay, but from the that from that definition, you you can understand that what the computer is. Oh, what is computer? The computer is an electronic device which is capable of receiving information. Oh, so that's the point from the notative. All right, let's continue to um, a sense. Sense is a mental concept of words. Uh, the mental concept of word over here is um, the idea relating to uh, the concept of a thing or word that you you have absorbed. For example, when you return to the point of what the computer is over here is an electronic device which is capable of receiving information, and writing and something and blah blah blah. Okay, so in your mind, okay, in relating to the sense, in your mind there is a concept relating to the um, computer. The computer is the electronic device that is inside your brain. Okay electronic device that you can use um, to gather the information to write the information or something like that so the point is electronic device to keep or write the information or data okay so that is the sense now let's have a look at this in building the concept uh, basically what the, you can do is by uh, doing uh, this activity for example you put the word in the middle over there and then you find a group the use, the action, the properties, location, and association of that word. For example, the first thing is about the group. The computer. Computer is a group of an electronic device. We agree with that. Okay, so what is uh, what it is used for? It is used for um, uh, gathering information, um, writing information, and something like that. So action does what? It does um, computer uh, does uh, Keeping our, uh, I mean, making our uh, writing activity easier, for example, like that. Okay, and then the properties. The properties, as what we have known, uh, the computer consists of two things hardware and software. The hardware might consist of a monitor, keyboard, a mouse, and something. Okay, and then the location, where you should we find it? Um, for example, in the um, working place or the electronic store. Okay, so you can find computer. And then the association is the associative meaning related to the concept. Uh, for example, you relate with, with the, um, when I remember a computer, then I remember that I, uh, play um, Dota game something like that so that is the association that you can do by that uh, concept uh, that becomes your sense in your brain so you will build that concept based on the uh, group use action properties location and association but at least you can understand it uh, from the group use and action okay so that's why the computer uh, the concept of the computer in your brain has been uh, built okay now let's continue to the example oh sorry to the reference um the reference over here is um the next level of the concept after you know about the concept of uh, one word and then you continue to relate it with the real entities in the world now over here for example the relation between linguistic form and real entities in the world that is a reference now let's have a look at the example over there and um, the real uh, the linguistic form over there is a computer computer consists of why this called linguistic um, uh, linguistic form because it consists of the alphabet, uh, phonological pattern, and uh, yeah, phonological patterns, the stress, and something like that. So that why that's why it is called as linguistic form. 
and then from the right side or right side of the arrow you can see there is the real entities in the world there is a picture okay the real entities of the world so you can relate and you can imagine okay you can you can think of it the real entities in the world so computers and then the right side is the real entities in the world so there is a ref reference all right so now let's continue from that uh, concept um, or sense that you got okay and then you refer it to the real entities in the world so you think that your brain will th when somebody say sorry when somebody say a computer you think that your brain will think about that picture this picture well I don't think so um, because um, that that one is uh, the same uh, an electronic device but that one cannot mm, cannot be used to uh, write or uh, gathering information uh, or keeping information something like that you just uh, that tools I mean that electronic device is just used for um, absorbing an information only okay that's why it is called television though that is not computer okay so I believe that your brain will uh, reject it that is not computer okay all right continue now let's continue to that part all right do you think it is computer uh, I believe that you may uh, I don't think so okay so that one is not computer but that one is a part of computer okay don't feel hesitant with that that is just a part of computer how do you know yes it is because it is just um, it is just a part of computer so that is just keyboard okay that is just keyboard all right so that one is not uh, it's not the same as the concept of the computer that you know but at the end over here is um, the computer is that the computer yeah I think so because um, the the group that is an electronic device because that one is um, uh, uh, is used for uh, writing or absorbing uh, sorry uh, accepting information or sending information it's the same thing even though the shape is different from the previous pictures that we have known okay so related to the function is still the same so that one is a computer whether it is a laptop or a PC all right now let's continue to the next materials that one is that exists okay the exists is the process of pointing via language pointing at something okay pointing at something over here is um you use a pronoun okay mostly pronoun Okay, now let's have a look at uh, another definition, a word that cannot be fully understood without context. Of course, you need a context, that's why, that's why the axis is, uh, is, is, is in the area of the pragmatics. Okay, now let's have a look at the types of the axis. The, the axis is divided into three parts, personal, temporal, the axis, facial, the axis. Uh, well, actually, um, there are more um, types of the axis, specifically. But then there is the the common one, the three. Okay, personal, temporal, and spatial. Uh, you can see the example that you can find, or the indicators uh, of the axis: I, you, they, he, she, it, etc. For temporal axis, now, yesterday, tomorrow, etc. Let's say um, last year, next year, the same thing. Okay, then uh, spatial axis here, there. Okay, related to the location. Okay. Um, but then, friends, if you are talking about the axis, it means that uh, it depends on the context of the speaker. Okay, if you look at the first one, a personal axis, it means that it depends on who is the speaker, and then uh, the second temporal axis depends on where the speaker's position is, and then the last is uh, where the where the speaker's position is okay uh, uh, who ha, uh, when and where okay please remember all right let's continue to the example uh, we have a personal diagnosis over here I love you okay I love you I is a personal diagnosis because we still don't know 
who the speaker is, okay? And then the second is you, the same thing, to whom uh, does the speaker say to, okay? So it is still unclear, okay? I loved you. Uh, but then if you are in the in the same context and then you look uh, and you can see somebody say this it is not the exist at all it, that is just reference okay so you can see oh the speaker uh, the speaker is uh, let's say a okay so the a is i and then you over there is a girl blah 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 something like that so it is not uh, the exist anymore okay so um it is categorized as the exist because it is just written or just the utterance without uh, without context okay now continue to the temporal in temporal the exist you can see <coughs> uh, the example is tomorrow okay it, tomorrow is seems unclear because when you say a, uh, on Sunday it means that tomorrow must be Monday if you say uh, Monday then uh, tomorrow must be Tuesday, so it's moving. Depends on the time of the speaker say this. Okay, and then the last is spatial diaxis. Spatial diaxis is um, the location. For example, I'm here. I'm here must be closely, uh, must be the close place to the speaker. But then we don't know where the speaker's position is. So that's why here is a spatial diaxis. Okay. Well, I think that's all that I can share to you guys. Hope you enjoy and like uh, this video. Um, if you have any queries related to the material, just don't feel hesitant to uh, text me or a question through WhatsApp. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, don't forget to share your happiness to your friends today, friends. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.